Oh, hi. Right. Um, so, Defender, I've bought a lot of bits. I haven't actually started putting any bits back on yet, but I've bought a lot of bits. I think I spent over a thousand pound on uh, new suspension parts. Uh, today, because I've not worked on this for quite some time, I'm going to go around, I'm going to see exactly what I've got, make a list of things to get, and a list of the next load of tasks. It's quite expensive. I think I think I spent, oh, I can't remember now, it's about £1,300 uh, a few days ago on some uh, suspension bits. Uh, I've got another load of, I basically bought all the stuff for the front I've got, uh, suspension. I've got to buy a load of stuff for the back now. There's loads of other bits I need to buy, so yeah. I'm not going to actually do any work today, um, I'm just going to figure out what I've got, figure out what I still need to do, and then next weekend then get stuck into uh, putting the diffs back on, painting the axles, and go from there. Okay, so I've got some Super Pro uh, bushes. These are great. Never ever used them before, but I've, uh, I've seen the videos before. People using these are fantastic. Apparently, they're very easy to change in the field as well. Ah, we're a long way off that. I've got some 5.5 inch Oman Emu shocks, and I guess now you know that I'm uh, extending the height of the suspension. Some extended front turrets. All this stuff is from uh, Gwyn Lewis, by the way. Extended bumper stops. Longer brake hoses. Various other suspension parts. So whilst it's tempting to get stuck in and start putting all this on now, I still need to get a few more bits, so that's what I'm going to be doing this week. So the next main task for me is priming and spraying these axles. Um, they've been sat around for quite some time now so there's actually a little tiny bit of surface corrosion that's appeared on them so what I'll do is give them a quick once over with a bit of uh, wet and dry. Uh, I'm then going to use some chassis cleaner or degreaser or something to clean them inside and out. I'm uh, going to replace the drain plugs and I've got to have a think what I'm going to do with the diffs. Um, I don't I was actually just going to put the original ones back on, but as I was sort of reading through my books this morning, I came across some uh, aftermarket ones. I don't know how you pronounce them. Quaif, is it? Q U I? I don't know. Quaif. Quaif. Q U A I F E. Limited slip axle differentials. Um, I had a quick look online, these are about 400 quid each, so it just depends whether I want to spend that or not. Um, I did decide with this Land Rover that I was going to try and make it as best as I possibly can, uh, and that obviously that includes uh, some money. So I'm not ready to spray these things anyway, I'll probably, I probably I can't do that until next weekend, so I think, um, I think I'll just wipe the rust off. Um, come back, read a few books, I'll stick a poll on the internet as well, on, on the website, see what people think. I've already spent, I think, 1,200 on half the suspension. I've got about another 1,500 to spend on uh, some other set suspension parts, uh, UJs and various other things. I don't know what I'm doing with the props yet. I know they were upgraded, so they're wide angle, so I just need to check those. If I'm going to replace those, that's going to cost another few hundred quid. Um, plus these two diffs, another grand. So already I haven't even attached anything to the car yet. It's still a chassis and it's costing a fortune. Uh, but there you go, I've spread it over a few months. Old angle grinder that I was using. Uh, take all the rust off the other axle. Dead. Brand spanky new Bosch 900 watt. Don't actually know how it works. Uh, 
Right, I've just realised that um, I didn't actually finish taking all the paint off this other axle. Um, I think I probably gave up after my axle grinder died, so just got to get the remaining paint off this. Gonna be interesting getting that out because it's uh, completely squashed. I don't even know if I get my um, my drain plug tool in there if I can find it. Right, so it should be that one, but that ain't gonna fit in there. smaller I hope that will work that's a bit loose but I think I'm gonna try it bit of luck it won't be won't be too tight Another day done. Uh, as per usual, I set out in the morning. Have loads and loads of tasks to do, and I end up doing about two of them. Um, I forgot that I hadn't finished removing all the paint and the rust from those axles. Uh, my old angle grinder died, so um, <clears throat> I was going to go out this morning and uh, degrease them and uh, uh, wash them down, and then dry them, and then ready for priming. Um, but I had to spend another hour then, you know, to taking all the taking all the, uh, the rust off with a new angle grinder. But that's done now. Uh, I've got the drain plugs out. I'm going to order some new ones. I've degreased them. What I'll do now is I'm not going to do it this weekend. Next weekend then I can go straight out, bit of panel wipe, wipe them down, and then get them sprayed. Right, so I'm off. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Milk in first, obviously. And, uh, yeah, go and look up some information on these diffs. Right, see ya. <laughs> 